Tonight, a four in your corner special report. It destroys families, ruins lives, but it's not illegal, and that's the problem. Four in your corner investigator Rob Coble shows you the dangerous new way teens are getting high. It's Friday morning. K2, Purple Magic, Spice, Ivory Wave. Different names, different shapes and sizes, all designed to do one thing. And that's get you high. And that high can be dangerous. Feel my heart rate. He says that he smoked some K2 and he thinks he might die. Hello. Another synthetic pot case. This one, deadly. We're at approximately 100 miles an hour headed the wrong way on southbound I-43. We're headed northbound. Right now we are on the median side. A 19-year-old killed after smoking the fake marijuana. Now, the I-team uncovering another dangerous synthetic drug. It's called Amped. Just take a look at this video. A violent, out of control teenager screaming at his mom. She says he's high on amped. And although these substances are touted as being legal and safe, they are anything but. Amped is a white powdery substance being sold in small packages in stores and online. A recovering amped addict says she used to snort it like cocaine. She claims while on it, she lost her mind. To want to actually physically kill someone? I've never been that way towards my mom. We've always been best friends. And she, she didn't know who I was, and I didn't know who I was. But the rush kept her coming back for more. You do it, it's really, 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 really hyper, and then you want some more. And then you do it again, and you want some more. The package says it never lets you down. They need to stop. In a Skype interview, DEA Special Agent Robert Bell says shutting these companies down isn't easy because they're constantly changing the ingredients in an attempt to avoid federally banned substances. I'll just simply call them drug peddlers uh, are selling substances intended for human use. In an emergency meeting, the feds were able to add eight more substances to a growing list of those banned items, five from the synthetic pot category and three from the bath salt class. With Detective Steve Peterson is no stranger to these drugs. Personally, I think anything that, that uh, you could ingest uh, that's not uh, prescribed uh, by a professional uh, while uh, being a physician uh, that uh, has some altering effect on the mind is uh, very dangerous. And those dangers? Never more apparent than in this deadly crash. This twisted metal, fake pot, fake cocaine, still being sold with real consequences. A lot of police officers saying a federal law is needed to ban all of these substances. That way, new synthetic drugs would be illegal from the get-go.